so let's try this again. I've been talking with my mic off. Welcome to the stream. I'm on the struggle bus today. It's been a minute since I've streamed. Um, had to restart the video. Was having some technical difficulties. Um, thanks for bearing with me. We are painting dresser, director Orson Krennic from Star Wars Legion. We're going to go ahead and take this little arm off here. And we are using Army Painter Tan Flesh is going to be the base tone for his skin. So, sorry about having to restart the stream if you're watching live. If you're not watching live, well, that won't mean a whole lot for you because by the time you probably watch it, I will have deleted the old video. My computer needed a restart. So, it's been a minute since I've streamed with y'all. I have been sick for a little while. I have some chronic medical conditions that flare up from time to time. I sh sure missed y'all. I hope you guys didn't miss me too much. But all right. So our next color, we're gonna go into our necromancer cloak, which I already have some on my paint palette. Um, if you don't use a wet palette, I cannot recommend them highly enough. It has kept this necromancer cloak fairly wet. Just needs a little bit of water to bring it back to life. Um, it's been on this palette now for about two weeks, so it's a it's a cool little tool. Thoroughly enjoy my wet palette. And we're going to go ahead and get the pants this color. So we have based him in a gray color. You can use your, or not based, primed him in a gray color. You can use your primer of choice, whichever you prefer. Um, try to get some overhead light directly overhead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one base color on, and then I'll put another base color on, like I'm going to switch back and forth to try to save time as we're painting, rather than waiting for one layer to dry, then putting another color of that layer on, or layer of that color on. Happy Alban. I haven't heard from many of my fans in a while, so curious what's going on in your paint lives. Been getting some good constructive feedback on the streams. You all seem to like most of them, though, so um, really motivating to keep working when you guys are enjoying the videos. If you haven't had the opportunity to, that um, as of today, which is recording date of this, is August 28th, I think the 28th, 29th maybe, anyways, something like that. As of the recording date of this stream, we are still running our cutting mat giveaway contest, so you can still go over and watch the Obi-Wan and General Grievous paint videos. Find the two secret code words that I speak out loud in that, those videos and put them in the comments section of the Obi-Wan video. Oops, I didn't mean to pull his head off. I meant to pull his whole upper body off. Skip this song real quick. hanging out with me tonight, feel free to drop a message in the chat. Let me know you're there. Would love to talk with you. So we're going to zip this guy out fairly quick, hopefully, to get me back in the swing of painting again. I did paint an Ahsoka miniature last night. You can see the picture results of that on my Facebook page. I um, was fairly happy with how she turned out. I 
never painted a Ahsoka mini from... I think I'm saying her name right. Um, from Imperial Salt before. It was a lot of fun. So, we're just putting some Necromancer Cloak on all the little black areas that are going to be on him. Which are, to be quite honest, quite a few. So his belt, his pants, his boots, his holster... and rinse my brush because I'm getting some paint up close to the ferrule and I don't want it up there. So, go back into our Necromancer Cloak now. We're going to base the buckle black. That's a tongue twister if I've said one. Base the buckle black. Um, but we'll end up going back over it with a metallic color. You could try to do NMM on it if you wanted to. I'm not a huge NMM, NMM fan. I don't like the look it gives on miniatures, but I know a lot of people do. I think I've mentioned that in the stream in the past. So. Alright. His glove. His black, he, wear, he wears gloves, so. Be careful if you're putting the black on before the white, which we're doing right now. Try not to get black onto those white areas. It'll make it painting white harder later. And then we're going to paint his gloved hand on the other arm and his gun the same color. So I'll hold up everything that I've done here in a minute. Again, I'm trying to be more conscious about doing that for y'all in the stream. so that you can see what we've painted. Like I mentioned briefly earlier, if you want to win a cutting mat like this one here, go find those two videos. The Obi-Wan General Grievous. Like and comment. Subscribe. Comment on there. And I'll see about getting you one if you win the contest, so. All right, one more coat on this little thing here. All right, we are going to put his body back together so I can put his head back on, and I'll show you where we're at so far so that you can see what we've done. So, painted his hand black with the pistol, and I managed to get some skin tone on there, but painted all of his pants and the belt black as well, and the gloved hand, which is a little bit thin, so I'm going to go put one more on there. Rinse my brush off. We're going to go back into our tanned flesh, thinned tanned flesh. We're going to put another coat on his skin. I don't have his head pressed all the way down in the joint to make it a little bit easier to um, get underneath the chin for now. It'll probably take one more coat of this paint to get the coverage I'm looking for because we're working with it pretty thin here. Alright. What we can do in the meantime, we primed in gray for a couple of reasons. Um, it's going to make adding our spaceship exterior, which is going to be our white analog right here. It's going to make adding that to our white areas much easier, rather than a traditional Zenithal highlight. So we're going to thin some of that out. And if you're going to paint this guy white, you might as well go ahead and commit to doing three or four coats of thinned white paint. So we're going to go ahead and start working on that right now. 
you try to keep it from pooling, otherwise you get some unnatural white colors. You could airbrush this to begin with if you want to. I did not because I wanted to show you all what it could look like with the brushes, but if I were doing this off stream, I probably would have airbrushed it. It makes light work of this white stuff. So if you're watching this, leave a message in the comments. Let me know what you're working on on your paint table. I'd love to hear from y'all. What have, what do you ex got going? Or are you just watching to learn? What's what's up with your painting world? I am looking for feedback on whether or not the music's too loud, too quiet. My voice is too loud, too quiet. Any feedback y'all can give me. sure that white's thinned down properly. A lot of people get frustrated with their white paint because it doesn't cover super well. And they will... I'm going to pull this head off while I do this part. And they will um, put it on thicker than it needs to be. And you end up with streaky white paint. Good even coverage requires multiple thin layers of white paint. And then I'm going to show you how I glaze with a blue to give it some shadow colors. So I'm just getting more spaceship exterior paint there. Here's kind of where we're at so far. I know it looks fairly crummy at this point. It's one thin layer. keep your white from pooling in places in the recesses it's easy for it to do if you get some of the spaceship exterior onto the black areas that is fine It'll, it's easy to clean up later female fat. There's a female fat. Oh, Sabine. Sabine. Okay. It took a minute for that to click with me. Oh, yeah? I've got a Sabine I need to paint for a customer. I told him I'd get to it over the weekend, and then I ended up ill and didn't get to it. She's primed and she's primed and ready to paint and ready on a holder. I just hadn't got to it. I wanted to do a new stream for y'all, so we did Krennic instead. His gloved hand here is... I'm going to have to resign that it needs to be repainted, so... Without sound, why no sound? 
don't have to type it. other side of the cloak. Nice. Oh. Thanks, potato painter. And you want that mount. <laughs> If you need to, when you're painting this guy, you can pull the the legs off. Um, I would probably I should shouldn't have done the belt and stuff yet, black. But hey, it is what it is. Look, the other mount is right here. It's not even open yet. have it. Soon, soon I'll give it away. We have some entries now, so. Alright, first layer's done, so we're going to go back and put a second layer on. Lots of layers of white on Karnak. If you wanted to, you could even do like an intermediary gray before you get here. Like maybe a, I don't know, an ash gray or a uniform gray if you're using a base gray primer. pooling in areas where it shouldn't pool. So much white. Yes, stormtroopers, clone troopers, all of the Empire apparently likes making paint schemes that are ridiculous to paint. and I'm not being too careful around the black areas. I'll go back and touch them up. I put the black on there more as a guide for me right now. So short troopers come out tomorrow, huh? If you need a paint guide for that, I have done one already. If you go look on my channel, you'll find some short trooper paint guides. In fact, I have them sitting right here painted up. But 
let's see, pull another one down real quick. So if you'd like to see how to paint box art short troopers, go check out that video. going to see if I can do this. I don't want to touch his cloak again, so take my pliers. I want to put one more coat on a couple spots on his face. And I have fat fingers, so if I try to hold onto it with my fingers, it's hard. So I just put another coat on his face. Here's where we're at on his body real quick. He still needs another coat or two of white at least once this one fully dries. Let that dry a little bit more before I set it back down again. Over there. There we go. Alright. There's not a whole lot to do in this guy. It's black, white, and some details. So there's not a whole lot of intermediate steps I can do, like in between. I can try to keep some of it from pooling. thing to pay attention if you start painting and you start pulling paint off your miniature let it dry if you start seeing little um, little paint spots where the paint starts coming off just put your miniature down and let it dry some more means it wasn't correct quite ready for you to paint yet the reason I bring that up is I just had it happen so even if you work don't have it pooling sometimes it'll pull paint off as you're painting Free tip right there. So I'm going to leave that spot alone. Try to spread out some of the stuff on the bottom of the cloak so it doesn't pull. Um, let's see. What other colors are you going to need for this? So I've got tan flesh. You'll need barbarian flesh. That's going to be our flesh highlight color. Um, no, not barbarian flesh, sorry. You will need elven flesh. We're going to, we won't go all the way up to pure elven. Uh, so you've got necromancer cloak, spaceship exterior. You'll need a little bit of matte, matte white. Um, we're gonna need some blue tone. If you don't have it, it's a great little color. Painting white does suck, I hate painting white. Um, blue tone, it's like a blue wash, you'll need that. If you want to do the technique I'm going to try on this guy again, I did it on some of my past chronics that I've done, and it turned out well, so we're going to thin it way down and it's going to be our shade color. Um, let's see. You'll need some gunmetal. And that's, that's really about it. You'll need red and blue. Whatever red and blue you want to use, I'm going to use dragon red and crystal blue. I'm just waiting on white, white to dry. Um, let's see. Let's 
look at some things I've got coming up soon. Probably do the Droidica soon. Um, I've got their sprues right over here. That's a Grievous sprue. What's left of it? So I got Droidicas here. I need to do the Bark Speeders. Um, got a ATST I need to do, but I do most of that with a um, airbrush. So I don't know if I can stream that video. I've got a Veers I need to do. I can do that on video. I've painted a ton of him. I've got him down to a science just about. Um, I think we're dry enough now that I can paint. So I've got some exciting stuff coming up soon. I'm not sure what I will and won't stream of that. I have a dewback I need to paint, but I'm waiting for the corrected base before I paint it, because I don't have any of the premium bases on hand. And I'm not going out and buying a pack just for that. Alright, another coat of white going on. It's going to need at least one more. Again, this is an actual white though. This is spaceship exterior that we're working with. We don't paint with matte white very often. That was my phone vibrating back there. You may have heard. stream it may look good but he's still not quite where I want him to be paint wise honestly if you wanted to take a little bit more time rather than trying to speed paint him like I am you could um, paint the outside of his cloak, and then take his body apart and paint the inside of his cloak. I'm leaving them together because I'm trying to knock him out in a normal amount of time for the stream. So. What I need to do is pull some of these stream videos, like download them, and turn some of them into shorter tutorial videos so that people don't have to watch the whole three hours if they want to see how to do it because I know not everyone wants to sit and watch me paint for three hours to learn how to do some stuff on a mini so I'm thinking we may get away with one more coat of spaceship exterior on him we'll see how it looks after one more onto his little arm again On to his good hand. His strong arm. Right.
excuse me while I turn my mic off. I promise you don't want to hear me drink from my water bottle. So I don't paint the areas that you're not going to see. So, like up underneath on the back of him, you can't really see him under there. Um, just thinning out some pooling that's going on there before it dries into rings. it difficult to paint over later if it doesn't dry right. some more and contemplate life for a minute I guess there's not a whole lot I can do with this mini until I can touch up some of the pants where I got a little overzealous with the paint because I'm pretty much done painting around them set it back down. So again, if you're watching this video, you're just joining us and you want to win yourself an army painter mat, much like the one that I'm painting on here, um, you can win one by watching our, or my copy of, the, of General Grievous video, and my Obi-Wan video, finding those secret words that I mentioned on there, and then posting them on the Obi-Wan video comments. That contest will run for about, what did I say, till mine, September 6, 2019. So if you are watching this video before that, then you'll do well. Nice. I haven't painted Space Marines in... 15 to 20 years or so. Not 15, sorry, 10 years or so. I did some Black Templars and that was it. For a person, for my own army, and then I sold them. Or traded them, I think. I don't remember. I no longer have them. I know that. So I'm going to stick this guy down in front of the fan real quick for a minute. Normally I would have a nice um, Dan Wolf's Games Mustafar base for him to go on, but I am fresh out and my 3D printer is not working, so I'm going to temporarily put him on just a plain base when he's all done. I appreciate that, Potato. I'm humbled. The 
does he not have YouTube? Because you could always tell him to come subscribe himself. Take this minute to clean my brush up a little bit. people that use like a hairbrush to dry their paint wings quicker or not a hairbrush a hair dryer I'm not sure how a hairbrush would work all right I think we're good for another coat here be our last coat, I'm thinking. Because this is getting some nice coverage now. So this is what, coat four, five? I don't know, I lost count. more spaceship exterior. sit down this Labor Day weekend and get a lot of painting knocked out for myself and customers. Let's see. My eight-year-old son, at the time of this video, he's eight, has taken a strong interest in Dungeons and Dragons, so I'll probably have to do some DMing for him. Um, he's really enjoying the new Essentials kit um, comes with ways to d an easy way to run a solo D and D campaign with a sidekick, and he's really enjoying that. He's become attached to a sidekick already, and he's worried about him. It's pretty cool. Um, and then one of my local comic book shops runs a on Thursday evenings runs a kids it's for like seven slash eight and up to like 14 D, D campaign and he went for his first time last week and really enjoyed it so much so he wanted to ask to go back this week but um their dm wasn't there this week all right I think we are good on our color there. Here's where our white stands. We'll let him dry. And then we'll go back and touch up our blacks. Clean up any of the areas we got white on. I'm going to try to pop him down in front of the fan for a minute. Let's see if we can't get him to dry a little quicker. Then we'll put his head back on, just paint his hair, and that will be a base coated Krennic. He doesn't take long to base coat. I got a lot of 
notifications for some reason. Just waiting on an arm to dry. Little teeny arm. If you're just joining me, thanks for stopping by the stream. We're painting an Orson Krennic miniature. For Star Wars Legion. It's a pretty slick mat, isn't it, Dan? Thanks. I'm I'm making do. <laughs> There's a lot of downtime when painting Krennic because it's a lot of waiting for white paint to dry. this right now until you get me bases because I, I think I'm completely out I'm just double checking ninety nine percent sure I'm fairly I'm completely out of your bases so I will lightly tack him to a plane model, or a plane base, is what's going to happen. Just so I can get some pictures shot. Alright, let's touch up the black areas. Now that the white areas are dry enough for us to work around. With skill. Well, normally he'd go on a Mustafar base, like I had said earlier in the stream. So let me know if the music's too loud, too quiet, if my mic's too loud, too quiet. I think the picture quality looks better to me. I did a lot of toying around with some stuff. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's put his head back on. That would be the only correct answer, Dan, is to apologize for missing any of the stream. Alright, hair color. I mean, you could always turn us on in the background. Now, 
nothing is worse than getting an itch in the middle of your back while you're painting. Because you jump all of a sudden. base hair color. If you get a little bit on the ears, it's fine. You can touch up over it later. really brown right now, but it'll look fine later, I promise. Here's where we're at now. We need to get his other hand. I didn't forget. I was waiting for the white to dry a little bit more. I think my palette cam looks a little washed out. Fix that real quick, sorry. That looks better. black on that hand because I just don't want to make sure it doesn't bleed onto the white. So. Right, back to our hair color because I missed a spot. This music sounds like we should be having a Super Smash Brothers fight or something. forehead where I see the paint's not as thick as I would like. And then once his hair dries, we'll go back over and touch up the ear on the other side. And then we need to gunmetal a couple things. Still working with an almost empty bottle of gunmetal. It has served me well for a little while. We're gonna get the belt buckled. Belt buckle. His rank chip. And we'll paint the whole thing silver, even the raised button parts, because what we'll do later is we'll come back and put the red and blue on here in a minute. And then we need to get his code cylinders as well. So 
so he's got two. One right here. One on by each shoulder, essentially. I'll show you in the close-up in just a second. I did get a little bit of black onto my cloak, so I'm taking some thicker white and touching up around the glove. I got some flesh tone onto the chest piece somehow. I'm not sure how that happened. The other thing you can do is I get a I get some criticism on my pictures because I don't remove the mold lines always. Um, I do that intentionally because I want to show what you can do without a whole lot of work necessarily. Um, make sure you get up underneath his hairline right here. up this glove again I keep going back and forth with. There we go. It's good enough. I think. Maybe not. It's going to require another touch up again. Back and forth and back and forth. All right. Here's where we're at. I know it's fuzzy. I'm not playing with the autofocus a whole lot, but there's where we're at. Base coated. spots and let him dry. All right. Time to think about a wash. What we're going to do for that. We're gonna wash the black paint, or the blacks. We're not gonna wash the whites, per se. First thing, I need my flesh wash. I think I have more, I hope. Yes. 
this one is shot. It's empty. So, flush wash. Doesn't take a whole lot. One drop will suffice. And we are going to put it on the face. why we do this first, because you can always go and touch up your white if needed. Alright. For the hair, we will need soft tongue. Again, just a dot is all you need to start to work with. Don't waste all your washes and stuff. And that's going to help brown up that hair a little bit so that you get some shadows when we go to highlight it up to blonde. Okay. And then we will need dark tone, and that's going to be for all the black areas. up his glove real quick before I put some dark tone on there. my brush and my dark tone onto the pants, just pure dark tone. That's going to darken up that necromancer cloak and make it look black, as well as building some shadows and highlights for you. As always with your washes, if you watch my videos, make sure you apply them evenly everywhere. If you don't, they stand out like a sore thumb on the mini where you miss. This is why I really like that Necromancer Cloak for black, because it shades naturally with this dark tone. It really shades up nicely with the dark tone. When you're painting around the white with the wash, be careful. I get too overkill with it. up this arm over here. Hold it for a second while that dries. I forgot to do something real quick. 
so we're gonna go back and do it as soon as I put this down. And that was to paint the red and blue bars on our rink. Just trying to get this dry enough that I can set it down on his hand. So red on top, blue on bottom bar. Nice. All right, I need to clean this paint off this bottle. There we go. There's a huge blob of paint on the end of that bottle for some reason. Not sure what happened there. Alright, so red on top. Thin it down a little bit. straight line across the top of the rank bar. And then we'll do the same thing for the blue. Once I get it shaken up. So the other thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of this blue tone and we're going to make a glaze out of it almost. So we're going to thin it way down. some of this void shield blue we're gonna make a glaze out of it so we're gonna thin it way down like way thinner than we normally would out of it and then we're gonna go in some of these deeper white colors and we're gonna add in some shadows with the blue make sure it doesn't pull Come back and highlight them back out again so don't be afraid to go over a little bit too much because you can smooth it back. But this is really thin down blue. 
probably like one drop of paint to um, like six drops of water of equal size. so don't be afraid to, like I said, be generous with it. I like the effect it gives, some people don't, so. This right, if you want to do it, be a little more generous than you think because it's easier to feather it out later so it's even. if you wanted to. I like this blue for it. And work with little bits of a paint at a time on your brush. And once some of those deeper recesses dry, go over them again. Darken that blue a little bit in there. But don't go too overkill with it, otherwise it starts looking too unnatural. don't want it pooling in places, so make sure it doesn't pool. That is of utmost importance here. Don't let it pool. pretty striking results, so. at this point. So set our 
wash pallet aside. Open up our normal pallet. Rinse my brush. Pull my norm my wash palette back because I forgot to do any work on the arm over here. He needs to paint this one. Don't paint him white then, paint him any other color. The Army Painter mat ends on the 6th of September. I will announce the winner in a video on the 6th. Alright. Bend down some spaceship exterior and let's bring our white colors back. So make sure it's fairly thinned because you want to make sure that you don't, you want to be able to feather your colors back. on how many people there are. So we're highlighting back our white, bringing it back to more of a natural white, but we're not covering up all that blue. Working with some thin spaceship exterior. And if you thin it enough, it almost acts like a glazed and you can cover up some of the blue and still have blue color show through. So make sure you thin it well. some of the white a little bit, or the blue a little bit, it was a little too bright for my liking. Alright, time to ch touch up the chest a little bit.
his waistband or the bottom of his shirt, whatever it is. some of the stuff underneath a little bit. Bring that a little bit more. some matte white now. Some thin matte white and we're going to pick out some extreme highlights. Not, not too many. Don't get too overzealous with them. But thin it out. It's too thick still. Some of the highest highlights we will pick out. Pretty much the ridges on anything. Done here for that. Pick up some extremes on the uniform. Same thing on the chest piece. The shoulders is going to get a little bit more white than anywhere else because it's a focal point. Top of the collar. Some of those blues are still a little dark for my taste, so I'm going to take them out a little bit. Just a couple of them are too dark still. There we go. Much better. Okay. So those are done. Um, let's highlight this arm real quick with some white. Keep in mind which direction it's going to be facing. Okay, problem solved there.
Alright, on to our face. So, first things first is we need to get some eyes on there. So some spaceship exterior with a really fine brush. And his upper body decides to pop off. Hooray. That's fine, because we can touch up some of this blue underneath while we've got it off. Okay. Let's try this again. Alright. Spaceship exterior. With the fine tip brush. for a second. We're going to work with this brush for a minute. While we're doing the face, it's a little bit finer. So this is an Army Painter detail brush. And we're going to go into our base tone. We're going to thin some of it out. Our base skin tone, which is that tan flesh. And we're going to touch up around the eyes. Just anywhere where we overshot with our piece, or eye color. Okay. The last step here is we're going to take for the eyes, get some Necromancer Cloak, and when painting pupils, go straight up and down. I wish I could get in close enough to show you, but I can't. up and down on pupils. Alright, so back into our base tone. Thin it out and we touch up around the eyes one more time. To fix anywhere where we went over with our color. Alright, take that same color, we're going to highlight the nose up, and we're going to work with large highlights first, and then we'll get smaller and smaller as we get brighter and brighter. Careful not to lose his wrinkles on his forehead, he has some good details on there, so. When you're doing these speed paint techniques, make sure to spend some extra time on the face. It's the focal point of your mini, and that's where people's eyes are going to be drawn to. So these are broad highlights first. We're highlighting just about everything except some of the deepest shadow areas. some of our Alvin flesh out. I want to start mixing into a higher highlight. Probably about three quarters tan flesh to a quarter Alvin flesh. 
and make sure it's thinned out well. Just working in the details here. So we're going to get under the eyes on this pass. Cheekbones, what you want to call it. This is going to be a slightly smaller highlight than the last one. Chin. upper lip. As well as he's got a couple of creases on either side of his nose. We'll touch those highlights real quick. And then we're going to get that, some, the ears with that one as well. And then we'll do one more layer of highlights on the face. And we're going to go to about a 50-50 album flesh blend. So I just mix on my palette until I'm happy, and this will get some of our extreme highlights, so small highlight bits. focusing on like the upturned areas on his face. You likely can't see what I'm doing and I do apologize for that. But we're really just focusing on some of the finest details here. body falls off. Okay. I'm going to see if I can get this up there where you can see it decently. Probably not. Turn on autofocus for just a second, real quick. Wrong camera. see that there. If not, I do apologize. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my detail brush, we're going to go back into some of this Necromancer cloak, and we're going to do a few highlights on the black areas. Not many, it didn't take much, just some of the ridges. stand out. On the boots. The holster. And the little holster ridges. And the top of the belt. Alright, for the hair, we're going to go into some leather brown. I think it's leather brown. Yep. This is going to be a pretty 
generous highlight, and then we'll go into um, another color for the other one. So. Thicker paint, and if you do thicker paint, you can turn your brush on the side, and it kind of acts like a dry brush. working. We'll see. Alright, see you later, potato. And then we will take some desert yellow, and we'll just do some very select highlighting, actually. Now I'm going to take some skeleton bone and do some select highlighting because he's got grayer hair. So pick up a couple areas. And then what will happen is, is I'll wash it brown again and it'll darken it a bit. off this brush get it put away and take some of my soft tone real quick and wash the hair out one more time I never did was with the dark tone I never went over the um, rank insignia so we need to do that real quick so I need a little bit more dark tone put them together. So this is a never-ending battle trying to touch up this glove area. gunmetal areas a little bit now that we've washed them and what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to take just a touch of gunmetal with a very small touch of white in it to lighten it up and do some select highlights on a couple spots Okay. I'm going to 
touch up a highlight real quick. Okay, I think we're done. together. Really push that head down where it goes, push everything together the way it's supposed to be. And then this arm, once we get this arm on, we'll kind of dry brush on some metallic onto the gun. Okay. And we'll um, do some necromancer cloak highlights on the hand. Just a little bit. Some on the gun. And then last thing is to go into some of that gun metal and do some select metallic highlights. Okay. There's our finished Krennic. I know he's hard to see on stream cam. Um, I got something on his cloak back here, so we'll touch that up real quick. say he looks pretty good. So the only thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to shut off the stream. I'll get some pictures up there of him. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I will, um, uh, I'm going to spray him with a matte varnish and that will seal him up and we will be done. So thanks for joining me. I'll get pictures up on there. I'm going to go ahead and drop my outro music. Thanks for sticking around with me. I will be back to stream soon again. So. Show your appreciation by hitting the like button. You can subscribe by hitting the logo in the center of the screen to see all the new stuff as it comes out. Find me on social media at xxnerfert or xx for Twitter. Facebook, Jagged Brush Studios. To see the next video, hit the video on the left. To see the newest upload, hit the video on the right. And I hope you enjoyed. Get out there and paint some more.